happy lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. The martini still is one of the most popular drinks. My name's Anthony Orofici. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, but I spent most of my time in the Bronx. Um, came out here to California 10 years ago, and all nice things aside, I got lucky, and now I'm working for Carpaccio Restaurant here in Menlo Park. Hi, I'm Sean, and I am an instructor over at the San Francisco School of Bartending. Um, I'm also bartending at Azul, um, which is a nightclub uh, in the Financial District. First time it was actually introduced was in 1862 in Martinez, California, hence the name Martini. And when that was done, it was done with uh, four parts of vermouth, red vermouth, one shot, one uh, part of gin, and aromatic bitters. Obviously, it's simple. It has two ingredients, and you just stir it or shake it. But again, balance, having the eye. In our business, you stop using jiggers, you use an eye. And the eye tells you everything you need to know. A martini is simply gin or a vodka martini, a clear spirit. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. Gentlemen, Most people like it shaken. James Bond liked it shaken. And people that, that they want it shaken, they drink vodka, not gin. They don't want to taste, they don't really want to taste the flavor. And so you can say that, that James Bond was afraid of, of the flavor of alcohol. Vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Zukowski will be delighted to see you. It's interesting uh, how a drink becomes more feminine or, or more masculine because it's just all just alcohol. Yeah. And we're not born with, it, with a taste for alcohol. <laughs> Gesture. I ordered you a dirty martini. Dirty martini? Dirty bastard. What you drink, the alcohol you like, the label, the brand that you like is often based on social dynamics, the groups you identify yourself with, the niches you, you identify, you, you, you you know, you know, that you find yourself in and, and the, the groups you contrast yourself with. And so um, I think largely they become icons of who you are, your identity. And it's a symbol of, uh, you know, status, I guess, the martini. Uh, and I'm sure that as a symbol is uh, brought groups together and their ideas of being higher status or, or, or being um, you know, nouveau riche or, or having, having money. shaken, not stirred vodka. Clearly Smirnoff. Whatever brand, I drink this brand, Great Goose, as opposed to that, Hennessy. And I think that has a large, a large uh, influence on what alcohol, may, and then consequently what drink that you drink. Right. So it becomes symbolic, I think, of, of a group, a group identity, and then consequently individuals. A dame you can be. I know the way you treated other guys you've been with, but the luck of be a lady with me. A 
lady doesn't leave her escort It isn't fair And it's not nice